Welcome, Gemini, to your love reading for the week of April 13th to the 19th of 2020. So here we do have a 10-card Celtic Cross spread for you. And the energy that I'm picking up here, and I, I usually do the, the weekly. Sometimes I change it um, every now and then. So I feel here the theme is Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Now, this is where you are either looking towards some kind of commitment or achieving that goal but i feel like the financial resources might be an issue now some of you might be going through a breakup or a divorce it could have already happened that could be bringing you to a bit of uh, harsh moods um, with what you might be saying what you might be even feeling and how you come across to somebody and vice versa i feel like that could really be causing uh, the brick wall of potential a commitment or a connection between you and the other person a theme that keeps happening for all three signs so far um, the seven of swords in reverse is coming out and this seems to be a week so far of clarity of things becoming clear to you about what needs to happen or, or what's going on with you and someone else now we have two different situations that seems to be a theme here and it is a cycle that is showing you about the significance of the connection that you have with somebody and the emotional uh, bearing that they might have on you and I feel like that is the ace of wands being in reverse it is often calling you to take a step back because of how you might respond to them or how they may, may be making you feel and even if you have this attraction to them or desire to connect with them or this is for the females out there this is the father of your children or child um, pregnancy anything like that I feel like you just have to be aware and honest about that other person and what they may have how they may have been treating you or if they may have been um, entertaining other people in the background especially if you want a committed romantic relationship with this person and that's why this could be the one that pop out you've already met the romantic partner that you see that's not automatic i read these and how the energy might be coming through and i feel like some of you feel that this could be the person that you want to settle down with but what i see is this energy of maybe connecting someone connecting with someone physically but figuring out their motives and trying to figure out if they're really one of commitment or they want to just get close and have their options open, that seems to be something that some of you are trying to uh, decipher. All right. Now, recent past, we do have the hermit in the upright, and that's often soul searching or figuring out where you stand with somebody and figuring out your own decisions and patterns and. Uh, how you two may rectify your differences on work with them or not you know is that happening is it bringing you um the good in your life or is it bringing you more harm than good and that's why that will of fortune is showing up there and your thoughts i feel like this is a part of a assessment where the universe can often have you when something is coming towards you as clarity it can happen in the form of a synchronicity something happening and again in your life that can say oh this is happening you know like deja vu or i've been here before look out for that look out for something that reminds you that because it can have you step away from this person a uh, king of wands and then we have the empress uh, some of you might be dealing with a fire sign you have a few different people showing up you have water virgo um fire sign showing up here another air sign there's two air signs showing up so Maybe dealing with a few different people this week, but often maybe mo multiple partners. But I feel that person that you're dealing with, uh, look out for them either texting you a lot or verbally expressing their um, issues through social media and venting in that way. And I feel like for some of you, if you drink and do other things as a crutch because the emotional disconnect that you might have, it forces you into... Um, a drinking or a separation or a mood of depression so be careful with that all right uh, depression pills and sleeping pills and things that bring you down be aware of that not healthy and because we have other ways of handling that energy all right and if that does this other person often triggers these emotions within you you have to be aware of whether it's healthy to continue to connect with that or something that you need to really separate from that person that you're dealing with i feel like they have um 
they, they seem to be having issues with money and they may want to change it but I feel like at least this week that that is almost like they turn away from that change or turn away from opportunities that come in for them to maybe invest or make better decisions with their money and they may want to stay around and just kind of allow things to be and it's almost not making the changes in, enough in order for both of you to manifest something healthy so be aware of that i feel like you have the opportunity as advice to allow healing energy to take over if you have something on your mind if you would like to communicate it if communication is coming in i feel like you have the opportunity to respond to it and talk it out or just remove yourself mentally um, from a prison that you may be in when it comes to this connection for some of you all right and when the outcome is coming out seven of swords and the eight of pentacles a lot of it surrounds uh, this energy of being strong enough to step back and put things into perspective and sometimes the other person may want to leave their options open because they don't want to put in the hard work um, now when we talk about hard work it usually comes from something that we don't really like that much so investing in something new making changes or doing what he needs to do or what you need to do he or she what y'all need to do and to manifest something better for yourself something that has you happy or just not really feeling like you don't want to do something when it comes to work or career whatever it might be i feel like that's something to focus on so if anything this week you'll get some perspective about your situation with someone if it's a repeating cycle and i think taurus had something like this as well uh, about uh, this energy reminding him but this right here tells me to look out for a synchronicity or some kind of realization that happens that makes you have maybe a deja vu moment and sometimes it can be really mild but write that down sometimes it can be very hard to decipher at times but if it continues to happen it can bring you through uh, some clarity about it so attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so feel good about yourself who you are what you can offer the world but not offering someone either money to stay or just sex to stay or whatever it might be don't come through in that way because that the way you bring someone in or manifest them in your life is the way that someone else can take them away from you in certain ways in certain areas so allow it to happen naturally and that right person can manifest in your life and if they don't manifest in your life you're okay on your own too all right so um, I feel here that's what's potentially happening for this week be careful of your emotional response um, coming through too powerful by verbally being abusive and allowing it to come in as well cut that off all right so much love to you hope the message has helped out and i wish you the very best and if you would like a private or personal reading you can always go to um, the description of the video where my email will be much love